Hello everyone, it's Carrie. I hope you are all having a great October. In this video, I thought I would share with you something a little bit different. It's a project I started last October. Each October, I try to do a little bit of one of the prompt challenges, and I'll explain more in a little bit about those if you're not familiar. But last year, I made this spooky witchcraft looking traveler's journal, and each drawing I do for the month, I incorporate into the journal. So I thought I'd walk you through this Inktober journal and share with you the drawing and inking of my first Inktober piece for 2018. So this is my journal. I created the outside using some faux leather and I love it because it's like spooky and old looking and extra chunky and has lots of little bits. Just something I like to do in my spare time. So when you open it up I just have some pages that are um, inked and dyed with coffee and I made this little book to insert in it and these are some of the Inktober drawings. So I'll do kind of a creepy drawing and then stamp it Inktober. Last year I was sort of doing different kinds of creepy characters and also some like botanical drawings. So that's like a mermaid sort of character and then here's some botanical um, and they're all the botanical um, drawings are usually some sort of spooky kind of element. And I just use different kinds of paper and kind of age it around the edges with some ink and stick it in there. Some of these are actually just photographs or cutouts from like a witchcraft book that I found at a thrift store. And all of the pages are just aged intentionally. And I just like to make it with little pockets and interactive elements. So I staple or paper clip different things in there. Like that's another photograph. And then here's another drawing that I did last year. So I try to do Inktober, uh, but I usually don't make it through the full month, but I do what I can here and there just to try to enjoy it. So this has little bits of clippings and like another photograph there and just some little game pieces and like vintage Oh, that's another drawing some vintage bags and tags and stained uh, fabrics and buttons and then I put my ink Inktober prompt list in there somewhere as well just so I can refer back to what I was doing then some more coffee dyed fab or paper pockets and some ledger paper and I just like to make it kind of spooky old and I've since added some natural elements to some pressed flowers and things. So it's just kind of a work in progress that I'll go back to every once in a while to add little things, but mainly it's for my creepy Inktober drawings. So I'll walk you through the drawing of my first Inktober project for 2018. So I totally love October because it's a super creative month and it seems that artists have extra artistic energy during the Halloween season. And this is especially true with some of the prompt challenge that I'm speaking of and that I'm trying here today. So these challenges usually go on during the month of October. There's different kinds that happen at other times of year, but I typically give Inktober a try. And uh, there's several others, like there's, there's several other artists who create a prompt list and some of them are related to ink and others are just just giving uh, doing a drawing so how it works is the creator of the challenge posts the list of daily prompts for other artists to use to create a piece of art then photograph it and post it on social media with the hashtag for whatever prompt you're, or prompt list you're using so for example I'm doing Inktober so the prompt for October 1st for Inktober was poison Oh, and I should definitely mention that Jake Parker is the creator of Inktober, which is my favorite one. So since the prompt for Inktober is poison, I'm creating a piece of art that incorporates poison. And this one is, I'm just doing a Wednesday Adams holding a poison bottle. But during this month, artists really tend to give, get very creative with the prompts and sometimes create some of their most unique work. 
I completely have yet to cr complete a full m month of Inktober because of the limited time that I have available, but I always love to stretch those art muscles and do it a couple days at least during the month. And if you're an artist, I totally encourage you to give it a shot. It's lots of fun. If you're not an artist, I'd also encourage you to give it a try. Or if that's not your thing, I still recommend you follow the hashtag Inktober so you can see all the incredible work this year and previous years. So the idea for Inktober is to create a drawing using, using ink. Like I was saying, other prompts don't have that specification, but and this is actually why I do Inktober because I like to try to um, flex those art muscles and just practice inking. And I also like the look of black and white drawings and I don't get often get to do those. So the unofficial rules say that you can use a pencil to draw the piece, but you're technically supposed to use ink for the majority of the art. Some, of, some people choose to use colored ink and I like to take the opportunity to go old school, practice inking and use mainly black. But I do do some ink washes and uh, others sometimes just use it strictly drawing and doing like hash, uh, what is that called? Hashtagging or not hashtag, but the, you know, different detail using just specific ink methods. So with this drawing, I'm doing some, I started in an orange pencil and I'm inking with a, it's like a dark gray ink brush pen and then I'm using a water brush pen to pick it up from my craft mat and do sort of a wash on the features. So I'll definitely list all of the products that I use or as many as I know of in the description box below if you're interested in what I'm using. And this is the one of my favorite inking pens. It's a brush pen. Uh, I'll put the put the name of it in the description box below because I can't quite remember. But I've gone through one of them already and replaced it with this one. It's just a really good, it's not quite black. I'm just inking in the hair. And then I'll go back with some pens to refine it after I do the overall wash. So I don't have the opportunity to draw as often as I like, but I feel it's important for me to practice these skills because I sometimes incorporate them into the dolls I do and vice versa. If you like my art, I have some prints available in my Etsy shop. I also have a monthly subscription for, a, uh, for an exclusive print on my Patreon page. So the links to the Etsy shop and the Patreon page is in the description box below as well. So I'll just let you watch as I finish up drawing this doll, this girl. <laughs> and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a super fun October. Bye.